today I'm going to do a really quick tutorial on the free transform tool which is right here in your toolbar shortcut for that is just simply the letter E now if you're trying this and your free transform toolbar doesn't come up the trick to this is that you have to have your object selected first before the free transform shows up if you click on the free transform tool and you move your cursor over to the artboard it just shows up with the no symbol on the cursor grab your selection tool which is the letter V select your object hit the letter E and interestingly enough this is one of these tools that calls up its own panel now this panel can also be hidden behind other panels so if you've selected your object and you don't see this move some of your panels out of the way to see this there's three different modes here in the free transform one of them is the free transform tool second is perspective and the last one is free distort starting off with the default of the free transform this allows you to take your selected object pull on any one of the corners or rotate just like you would with your selection tool it also allows you to grab any one of your midpoints here and shear that on the axis so I can shear it horizontally or shear it vertically if I want to do something that's going to kind of be off in perspective if I'd like to constrain click on the link and then this tool will act as if I'm holding down my shift key and then it will constrain when I'm scaling so it keeps things in proportion and when I rotate it'll snap to the 45 and 90 degree increments however when I'm doing the shear or the skew here it doesn't snap to anything with a constraint so it only works for sizing and rotating when I choose the constraint factor next is going to be the perspective distort which allows me to grab any one of my corner points you'll notice that the center points have disappeared and I can pull that out to make it look like it's got a wider base if I want to do a trapezoid or if I'd like to do something going off to a vanishing point this could be really nice to use simple if I grab the free distort then this acts like the direct selection tool where I can directly select and pull and change these points and move them any direction independent of the entire shape I can always go back and I can always then use my free distort or my perspective distort and I can then put this into perspective and do all sorts of cool things with this if you want to go back to selecting another tool we can use your selection tool and of course your free transform will disappear hit the letter E and we can do the same thing with each and every one of my shapes so I can freely distort this and rotate of course do the perspective distort and put that into perspective either horizontally or vertically and then of course the free distort and you can take whatever you've done and freely distort that as well if I use my selection tool on the polygon same thing the letter E perspective distort now how is this going to be practical let me show you I'm going to grab a rectangle and with this rectangle I'm going to fill it with a brown and I'm going to have no stroke at all I'm going to grab my free transform tool which is the letter E use the perspective distort I'm going to pinch in the bottom here I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee so now I've got my perfect taper those sides are perfectly pulled in on both sides the same amount then I'm going to jump over to my line tool which is going to be my vertical slash and I'm going to draw a line across the top of my cup I'm going to add a stroke to that I'm going to make that a slightly darker brown go to the stroke panel hot dog the ends and there is and there is my cup of coffee if I wanted to do something in perspective like a box grab a shape draw that rectangle I'm going to fill that with a color select it with a selection tool hit my free transform tool I'm going to use the perspective distort and I'm going to put that into perspective go back to my selection tool and I can copy that and paste it in my properties panel I can flip that over and then I can take these two shapes and I can put them together and if I change the color of one side and the other I can kind of create this box look or if I want to do like a building or a structure here pretty easy way to do this without drawing the shapes then 
If I want a shape for a logo, I can always grab the shape, use my free transform tool, constrain it so that it's going to keep everything in proportion, go back to my selection tool, and put it on the box, and of course, bring that to the front by going under Object, Arrange, Bring to Front, and now I've created this cool shape, box, building, whatever, with a logo on the side. So that's what the free transform tool will do. Give it a shot, see how you like it.